causes of obesity. The balance between calorie intake and energy expenditure determines a person's weight. If a person eats more calories than he or she burns, the person gains weight. The body will store the excess energy as fat. If a person eats fewer calories than he or she metabolizes, he or she will lose weight. Therefore, the most common causes of obesity are overeating and physical inactivity. Ultimately, body weight is the result of genetics, metabolism, environment, behavior, and culture. Genetics A person is more likely to develop obesity if one or both parents are obese. Genetics also affect hormones involved in fat regulation. For example, one genetic cause of obesity is leptin deficiency. Leptin is a hormone produced in fat cells and also in the placenta. Leptin controls weight by signaling the brain to eat less when body fat stores are too high. If, for some reason, the body cannot produce enough leptin or leptin cannot signal the brain to eat less, this control is lost and obesity occurs. The role of leptin replacement as a treatment for obesity is currently being explored. Overeating Overeating leads to weight gain, especially if the diet is high in fat or sugar. For example, fast food, fried food, and sweets have high energy density. Foods that have a lot of calories in small amount of food. Epidemiological studies have shown that diets high in fat contribute to weight gain. A diet high in simple carbohydrates. The role of carbohydrates in weight gain is not clear. Carbohydrates increase blood glucose levels, which in turn stimulate insulin release by the pancreas, and insulin promotes the growth of fat tissue and can cause weight gain. Some scientists believe that simple carbohydrates like sugars, fructose, deserts, soft drinks, beer, wine, etc. contribute to weight gain because they are more rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream than complex carbohydrates like pasta, brown rice, grains, vegetables, raw fruits, etc. and thus cause a more pronounced insulin release after meals than complex carbohydrates. This higher insulin release, some scientists believe, contributes to weight gain. Frequency of eating The relationship between frequency of eating and weight is somewhat controversial. There are many reports of overweight people eating less often than people with normal weight. Scientists have observed that people who eat small meals four or five times daily have lower cholesterol levels and lower or more stable blood sugar levels than people who eat less frequently two or three large meals daily. One possible explanation is that small frequent meals produce stable insulin levels, whereas large meals cause large spikes of insulin after meals. Slow Metabolism Women have less muscle than men. Muscle burns more calories than other tissue. As a result, women have a slower metabolism than men and hence have a tendency to put on more weight than men and weight loss is more difficult for women. As we age, we tend to lose muscle and our metabolism slows. Therefore, we tend to gain weight as we get older, particularly if we do not reduce our daily caloric intake. Physical inactivity Leading a sedentary lifestyle With the arrival of televisions, computers, video games, remote controls, washing machines, dishwashers, and other modern convenience devices, the majority of people are leading a much more sedentary lifestyle 
compared to their parents and grandparents. Some decades ago, shopping consisted of walking down the road to the high street, where one could find the grocers, bankers, bakers, etc. As large out of town supermarkets and shopping malls started to appear, people moved from using their feet to driving their cars to get their provisions. In some countries, such as the USA, dependence on the car has become so strong that many people will drive even if their destination is only half a mile away. The less you move around, the fewer calories you burn. However, this is not only a question of calories. Physical activity has an effect on how your hormones work, and hormones have an effect on how your body deals with food. Several studies have shown that physical activity has a beneficial effect on your insulin levels, keeping them stable. Unstable insulin levels are closely associated with weight gain. Medications Medications associated with weight gain include certain antidepressants, medications used in treating depression, anticonvulsants, medications used in controlling seizures such as carbamazepine, tegretol, tegretol XR, equitro, carbetrol, and valproate. Diabetes medications. Medications used in lowering blood sugar such as insulin, sulfonylureas, and thiazolidinidions. Certain hormones such as oral contraceptives and most corticosteroids such as prednisone. Weight gain may also be seen with some high blood pressure medications and antihistamines. The reason for the weight gain with the medications differ for each medication. If this is a concern for you, you should discuss your medications with your physician rather than discontinuing the medication as this could have serious effects. Psychological Factors For some people, emotions influence eating habits. Many people eat excessively in response to emotions such as boredom, sadness, stress or anger. While most overweight people have no more psychological disturbances than normal weight people. About 30% of the people who seek treatment for serious weight problems have difficulties with being eating. Diseases such as hypothyroidism, insulin resistance, polycystic ovary syndrome and Cushing syndrome are also contributors to obesity. Other reasons for obesity. Ethnicity. Ethnicity factors may influence the age of onset and the rapidity of weight gain. African American women and Hispanic women tend to experience weight gain earlier in life than Caucasians and Asians. And age adjusted obesity rates are higher in these groups. Non Hispanic black men and Hispanic men have a higher obesity rate than non Hispanic white men, but the difference in prevalence is significantly less than in women. Childhood weight A person's weight during childhood, the teenage years, and early adulthood may also influence the development of adult obesity. For example, being midly overweight in the early 20s was linked to a substantial incidence of obesity by age 35. Being overweight during older childhood is highly predictive of adult obesity, especially if the parent is also obese. Being overweight during the teenage years is even a greater predictor of adult obesity. Hormones Women tend to gain weight especially during certain events such as pregnancy, menopause and in some cases with the use of oral contraceptives. However, with the availability of lower dose estrogen pills, weight gain has not been as great a risk.